YouTube, it's your brother in Christ, Philip Ness Thomas, coming at you. Just uh, at the school today. I'm coming out to show you some of the work that's happened on uh, the planting that we did a little while ago. So, it's going to show you the fruit. So, yeah, just a quick little vid. Show you in real time, you know. And, uh, I mean, if you watch my channel, you're going to see people start giving their life to the Lord and getting baptized. Filled with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Baptismo, if you look it up in the Greek, it means both water and fire. Anyways, yeah, so I'm just going to show you the fruit. Alright, and uh, keep watching uh, what God's doing in our lives and uh, you, how He's using us for His kingdom. And we'll see real fruit, human fruit, souls coming to the kingdom, being saved from the wrath of God and being blessed to enter His kingdom. Alright, so check it out. See if you look real close. I hope it's good quality. See the little seedlings coming up. See them? Just teeny little seeds. It's really cool because I've never done this before. You know? It's kind of funny because I've never done this before, but I've done, you know, and I'm doing street preaching, so and I've only been street preaching for about five months. I never really did that before. If you look real close, you can see little seedlings coming up all over the place, little patches. Little patches over there, you see them? It's really cool. So Jesus said, unless a seed dies, so these seeds have died in the soil, in this good soil that was prepared, you know? Amazing thing is that God can take, God can take a ground that's just, um, you know, totally like the, like the sand, the desert sands in Arizona, I think it is in California, in that, in those areas. And he can plow them up. So there's regular little teeny patches of grass you can see. And you look over there. And you can see a little bit different, eh? So yeah, we got a whole bunch of holes over here. There's one over there and there's tons back there that I did. If you look further back, we'll go take a look at them. But yeah, I just encourage you guys, man. Get out there, like I said in the other video, like the bread video. Get out there and sow some seed. You know, get out there and sow some seed, man, and God will, God will bless you. You know, so die to yourself. You know, the first part is how living a consecrated life. You know, stop living for the lust of your flesh, and you know, God will speak to you on what things uh, Satan has already captured your heart and you know uh, done to distract your time. You know, taking up, filling up God's time that that's your life, because your life is God's and. Filling up God's time with like, uh, you can see all the seeds here. But filling up God's time, your life with, you know, the pleasures of the world and your own, doing your own thing. You know, and that's why we live a sacrificial life. Like John 15, 13 says, no greater love hath any man that he would lay down his life for his friends. And another awesome verse that I just found the other day through a, the diligence of another brother and sister, which is uh, 2 Timothy 2.11 says, this is a faithful saying, if we, if we are dead with him, we will live with him. Just like Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. So you can see here guys, you can see all the little seedlings coming up. Just awesome to really see this in real time, you know. And we're already seeing tons of fruit downtown, even though some people are scoffing at us, even Christians. Actually, the only real scoffers we had are people who think they're walking with Christ already. And... Uh, haven't really had many other scoffers except for some drunken uh, mockers downtown whose hearts are really hard, but we believe God can transform them too. Anybody can be transformed. Jesus said it's not impossible for even the rich man by his spirit to enter the kingdom. So, amen. So, love you guys, man. You can see, just look at all the different plantings of seed all over. There's one over there. There's a whole bunch over that way. I did all these, and they're all bringing forth... The seeds have died and you know we are the seed we got to die first and then bring forth that fruit we got to give up our life so do it in order don't just try and order to go out and evangelize I mean I'm sure God won't reject any kind of attempt but remember something it's got to be you got to die to you you got to give up your life surrender your life to the Lord first and he'll bless you all right love you guys grace and peace God opening the eyes of our heart and peace God's alone Walk in the fear of the Lord and the comfort of the Holy Ghost. Acts 9 and 31. Bless you.